Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic. Now, oh, welcome to my tying bench. Today, a nice, ugly, searching pattern, piss them off fly. That's a booby. Um, it's, it's a variant uh, booby. Uh, it's uh, one. It's a, basically a cat's whisker, which is green and white. Um, but it's a cat's whisker booby. I tie them in two different fashions. Um, this is one fashion I tie. And the second one will be the one that I'm doing for you guys today. So, uh, here I'll show you guys close up. That's the one fashion. Kind of hard to see it there, but actually I might end up having to, I might have to, uh, have to zoom out a little bit to make sure I get the whole fly in for you guys there. There we go. So, yeah. Okay, really ugly so starting off hens bl599 in the size six it's a large hook uh, i'm gonna use some zamperfly uh booby foam uh this in this case it's white um, now i can do it green i can do whatever i wanted right so just a round booby foam let's get that out of my face there gonna be using some uh, zamperfly classic waxed in a fluorescent green um, I really like using, as you guys know, if you've watched my videos, I love using the Zemperfly Nano Silk, but Nano Silk and Foam don't like each other. Uh, GSPs, period, any of that kind of stuff. It, it has a tendency of cutting. So you don't have as much strength with the, uh, with the wax, so you can't pull quite as tight, but I end up putting a little bit of uh, crazy glue on the booby eyes when I'm done anyway. So, Okay, so now this is a... A trick now you can put them on just like that tie them down done cut them to length round off the, the, the corners all that stuff this is a uh, a technique that I learned from Gary Hankey out of uh, out of uh, Edmonton now I've, I've done this once before but I'm gonna show you guys again so basically you just taking your your foam you're gonna fold it over okay so you see I folded it over then I'm gonna lay it down on the shank like that tie it down and then I'll, I'll go to the next step so at first just because my fingers are so clumpy and out of the uh, always in the way I'm just gonna hold it with my right hand and just get two three wraps in it this way then I'll go and pinch the back side here and tighten that down a bit get six seven more wraps in tighten that down now this is the point where I do sometimes break the thread because I'm really yanking down okay so that's what you're ending it up with, okay? So now what I'm going to do is tie this, the stuff that's on the shank, I'm going to tie that down. Don't worry if it turns on you, you can just bring it back for now. You want to get this stuff tied down nicely, otherwise it ends up with a, you end up with a bit of a bulky neck area, which, I mean, you, you a lot of times you will anyway, but... Uh, just want to get that tied down nice okay and then onto the back onto the hook back onto the boob foam again just to make sure that's kind of tied in okay so now I could put some crazy glue on there and on there but I will I'll do that later so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this up and then you're gonna come down the middle you know, let's just see if I can show you this way you're gonna come down the middle of it like that and split them in half Okay, so right down the middle, down one side. Don't pull too tight because you'll cut it. Same side again, just down the middle and pull. And then go to the other side, around and pull. So now I'm going this way and around and pull and then behind it. And now you can slowly start figure eighting. Okay, it does take a little bit of patience which I'm surprised I actually do this because patience isn't my game. But uh, it really, the result you get, it really looks good. And because it doesn't have those sharp edges that you will if you use just regular round foam, um, if you just use the round foam and don't cut it properly, um, it'll spin. This won't. So that's what you're left with. Okay, that's how your booby eyes turn out. So, and on top of that, 
a lot of times when you're cutting, when you're taking a piece of big piece of booby foam, now this one's been cut this way, but that you're doing it this way, you usually only take half, right? Well, that means you only got that much buoyancy. Now I've got the whole tube worth of buoyancy in this. So it's just another added, another added uh, um, bit of buoyancy as well. So now I'm going to come back to just about the, the bend, okay, or where the barb would be, and then come back again. I just wanted to get a base layer down. Going to get some, where did I put it? The white, um, okay, it didn't fall on the ground, white marabou. I got it somewhere here, but I'll just grab a new piece because I had a piece out, but it ended up somewhere on the floor probably. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Oh, there it is. So I stripped it off one side already for a, the, the one that I showed you guys earlier. So now what I'm just going to do is just go to the top here, grab my marabou, and you know what? I'm going to put this on the other camera so some of the beginners can see how, how this is done. Right, so I've got my, my marabou and I've stripped off the one side, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it up top, strip it off a little bit, fold it over on itself, grab it again, strip it off the one side, fold it over on itself, strip it off the one side, fold it over on itself, and then strip the rest off and fold it over on itself, pull it off of the stem. So what you're left with is, once I cut it here, because there's always a little bit of junk on the bottom, that's what you're left with is a little package, right? And it's all the nice, you see how much, how that nicely that moves, right? That's, that's why you don't try to get the stem and stuff in there. So I'll go back to the main. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the length. I want these, I'm just going to lick this, my fingers, and then run it through the uh, marabou just a bit, just to, Make it a bit uh, more, so it's not as as uh, unruly. And I want this fairly long. I want about two times the length of the shank, so about like that. So that's what I'm going to transfer it over. I'm going to cut those butts off. I'm going to lay that right in behind the boobies, booby eyes, and tighten that down. Okay, and then come all the way back to your tie-in point, your tie like where you stopped. And then lift your tail underneath, around and over, lift your tail, around, underneath, around and over. Okay. I'm going to lick that again just, just to keep that from being unruly. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the Zemper Flash um, San Juan mix. It's kind of a green and red and, and stuff like that. And I'm going to just take two strands. It doesn't matter which two strands, uh, one green, one red. I mean, they're kind of all kind of green and red as throughout. They change color. I'll end up with three strands, that's fine. So, and then I'm gonna hook it in behind the thread. Pull it down. Like that, and then I'm gonna take three on one side, three on the other side, normally two, and then just tie that back just so it so they stay on those sides. Come a little, just a touch longer than the longest fiber. So now, you know what? I'm gonna have to zoom out just a bit more for you guys. And focus, and maybe move just a tad. So there, so you guys can see that it's uh, there. Okay. So that's what we're left with now. What I'm going to do is take some of the uh, whoop, right there, the Zemperfly uh, 2.5 mil plush chenille in the uh, fluorescent green. For those that don't know, cat's whiskers. If you go look in uh, in Great Britain and throughout Europe, a, a cat's whisker is basically basically anything that's green and white can be considered a cat's whisker of types. Right, so, so take my chenille, nice wrap right at the back end so it covers, and then just touching wraps, stroking your material back every time you come forward. The more you, 
the, the more turns you get, obviously the thicker the body is going to be. So that you can you can make some with really thick bodies, like this one is right now, or you can do some with real thin bodies. Um, that's totally up to you. Um, I like having a little bit of both. So right up to the behind the eyes, then tie that off. Okay, nip that off underneath. So that's tied in. Then I'm going to get a little bit more. Now, there's, like I said, remember I said there was two different versions. That is the same up to there. The last one I did is I took some green schloppen and tied that in, and I palmered that in there and created a bit of a bit of a collar that that lays back, right? This one, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to take another piece of white marabou and create a marabou wing, which is a little bit more of a traditional booby. So now again, I could strip all that stuff off. I can just fold it over like that, right? I can just fold it and make a wing, but I'm going to actually strip it because I find it just gives you that little bit of extra movement. And hey, movement is money. Right, so again, same thing, stripping off one side, folding it over, one side, folding it over, all the way down, strip the whole feather, on this case, because it's a short, fairly short feather, get my package, right, Just kind of wet that a little bit. I want it not quite as long as, I want it about halfway through my tail, so about like that is where I'm going to want it. And I'm just going to, so I'm just going to take that and just pinch it in my finger, cut off the waist, offer that up there right behind the eyes. You know, you need to go a little bit further. You see how I've got, it? it's kind of hard to see, but, get, but I got it further than I want. Because if I tie it in there, it's just going to pull out because it's pulling it down into the, into that little, space there right so nice and tight nice and tight nice and tight okay now you can make that as long as the tail if you like but i like that a little bit of a taper that this that this uh, does now the other thing you can do too and i'm going to do it in this one is just take one strand of flash and offer it in right up on top here just to give it another uh little bit of extra I mean it's a booby there, it, it, there's nothing subtle about these things they're they're flashy they're big they're they're ugly they're I mean they're they're not representing anything right so get it in there cut it off about the same length as the other flash not this the wing as the other flash okay and then just finish tying this off if you can Get in front of there just it helps to lock it and then I like putting one set of whip finishes right here right now just really carefully two three four and then again I'm gonna do it in the same spot but because I can't really access it after properly I'm gonna put a little bit of head cement, Sally Hansen's, whatever you like using. Just a little bit. It's not a ton. Don't need a ton. Again, same thing. Just carefully wind it behind that eye. That booby eye. Pull down. Nip off your excess. Closing my Sally Hansen so I don't spill it. And then I'll just take my uh, dubbing brush, uh, the toothbrush one, um, and just give it a bit of a comb. See if I can focus that for you guys a bit better. There we go. Give that a bit of a comb out. Wet my fingers a bit. And I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see the whole fly. And that's it. That's the uh, Cat's Whisker Booby. Like I said, not a pretty fly. Definitely not a pretty fly. Um, the booby eyes are really cool. I, I love this style. I'm glad I saw, found this one from Gary. Um, give that one a try, guys. If you guys tie boobies, do that. Um, they, uh, it definitely makes it so it doesn't spin and stuff as much, right? So 
once this here gets all wet this just kind of flows together really nicely right so okay so like I said that's one version there I'll put the other version in that I tie that's one of the cat's whisker booby that I tie this is the other one that I like tying um, have I had more success with one or the other no not really so again there's that one right and then that that schloppen will slick back really nicely when that's in the water right and it'll pulse really nicely so okay uh, personally I like this version better that's just a personal uh, thing but have I caught more fish on that over this one I don't think so I think it's pretty even so all right well I hope you guys enjoyed that if you did give her a thumbs up if you subscribed thank you if you have not please consider doing so spread the word tie lines everyone <laughs>